Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am making my version of the Roof Chris stuffed chicken guys with a creamy mushroom sauce. Every good dish has a good sauce in my opinion. So we're gonna hop right into the video because I wanna show you how I make it, but I also wanna show you how I package it up to put in my refrigerator with my new Pomodoro vacuum food container guys. This is to, I mean, it's gonna save your life, especially for meal prep. So we're gonna hop right into the video. So first I started off with a tablespoon of olive oil, a teaspoon of minced garlic, and then I'm gonna throw in about one fourth cup of diced onions, guys. And I have my stove on a medium heat, so a level five. And I'm just gonna saute that for about two to three minutes. Two to three minutes later, you wanna add in some um, freshly chopped spinach, guys. You can use frozen if you want to. I added in about two cups in total. And then I'm just gonna let that, um, you know, cook. And once the spinach has wilted down, guys, uh, we're gonna add in about uh, two to three tablespoons of butter. Let that cook and saute for about two to three more minutes and then we're going to set that to the side because we're going to incorporate this into our cream cheese this is what we are going to be stuffing our actual chicken breast with so you want to set that to the side so it can cool down a little bit once it's reached um like room temperature we can then incorporate this with some cream cheese in total i added in six ounces of cream cheese guys um i just because my bowl was kind of small you can add the cream cheese all in one time i just didn't because my bowl was small so i did like half and half i did three ounces of cream cheese in the bowl with half of the spinach mixture and then once i mixed that all around i added in the rest of it guys once you thoroughly mix that all around you then want to add in about a half a cup to a cup of whatever type of cheese you like i like to use cheddar cheese sharp cheddar cheese but you can use whatever type of cheese you like guys this is your recipe that you're making your own so um once you add in your cheese then you want to add in some seasonings guys i am adding in some ground thyme you can definitely add in the fresh thyme fresh is always better of course but i added in some uh, ground thyme two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce and you can add in about a, a quarter of a teaspoon of ground thyme then you want to add in about a half a teaspoon of ranch seasoning and then salt and pepper to taste you don't have to add in a lot of ranch seasoning because it's it's it that ranch seasoning you just want it to have like a a kick to it like a, a a taste and a lot of people do use the ranch seasoning so i'm guessing that's what ruth chris because of course ruth chris don't have the recipe out online but i'm guessing that's what they use in it but once you have your mixture that goes inside of your chicken inside we can then move on to our chicken breast so all i do is take my chicken breast once they're clean all the fat is cut off and you just want to make a pocket into it you can make it as big or as small as you want to one and then once you um put a pocket on um, each of them then we're going to season our chicken breast on both sides front and back with some seasonings again you can use any type of seasonings you want to but i'm gonna tell you what i like to use in my chicken so first i like to take a little bit of olive oil and and drizzle a little bit on rub it all together on the front and the back that's just to secure the seasonings that we put onto our chicken breast and then once you do all that we're gonna add in some garlic powder some black pepper some paprika and some cajun seasoning we're gonna season both sides if you guys don't know how much seasoning to use you can always start off with a quarter of a teaspoon or half a teaspoon of seasoning and just make sure your chicken is covered with each type of seasoning again you can use those four types of seasonings you can add more to it you can just use salt and pepper it's your dish you can do whatever you want to do but once you season your chicken front and the, the, the front of the chicken and the back of the chicken then you want to stuff the chicken with the um, cream cheese and spinach mixture that we made stuff that in like just enough in there because when you cook it it's going to kind of um the cheese is going to melt and it's going to kind of melt down and out so you don't want to put too too much in there um but you can really take a big spoon and just put a spoon's worth of mixture in the chicken and then this part is optional you can take some toothpicks i take three and i just like to put them on the um you know the close kind of close up the split the slit in the chicken just to ensure that all of the mixture doesn't seep out 
out when we cook it in the oven to kind of like let the chicken keep its form um but right now we want to cut that oven on 400 degrees and we're going to let these chicken breasts cook for about 30 to 35 minutes guys and what i like to do is uh when i put them in a pan or i use a casserole dish take a little oil whatever type of oil you prefer i prefer olive oil and i just uh just put about a half of a teaspoon of olive oil into my pan and just you know spread it all around and then i take place my chicken breast um in the pan and then i'm going to cover it with tin foil when it reaches that like that last 10 minutes you can remove the tin foil so that chicken can get a little brown if you want to is your preference that's what i like to do um but once you place all your chicken breasts in there cover it we're going to cook it for about 30 to 35 minutes on 400 degrees and while that's cooking we're going to make our sauce because every good meal got a sauce so i'm starting off with three tablespoons of butter once we um that butter starts melting then we're going to add in about one fourth of a cup of a diced onion. I didn't record me dicing anything today because y'all know my cutting skills ain't the best and y'all always got a lot to say about it. And then we're gonna add in some mushrooms. I'm using portobello mushrooms that I just kind of diced up, um, not in small pieces, they're like medium pieces, but you can leave them whole, you can cut them in half, it's your preference. Um, but I added in about a half of a cup of mushrooms. You can add more if you want to. And then we're gonna add in a teaspoon of minced garlic and we're just gonna let the, that saute. Um, I have my stove on a, a medium heat, so between a four and a five and just let that saute and it's just gonna start smelling really really good let that much those mushrooms cook with the onions and the garlic and then uh, once we add our garlic in we want to add about a cup of chicken stock into our uh, mushroom onion garlic mixture and we're gonna let that cook for about five to seven minutes once everything is boiling we want to then add in our heavy whipping cream now guys i added in in total about a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream but before you just pour in that heavy whipping cream add one teaspoon one tablespoon of cornstarch to that heavy whipping cream mix it around and then just slowly add it in a little bit at a time and just watch it do tricks on you it's gonna get nice and thick and it's gonna be absolutely delicious and then you can season it with whatever you want to i'm seasoning mine with some black pepper a splash of salt some thyme and that's pretty much it and if you want to you can throw in a splash of um paprika for color and like i did i just added in literally a splash of paprika and then just mix that around and you can at this point once you incorporate everything cut your stove down to a low heat and we just gonna let that simmer and then our sauce is gonna be absolutely beautiful as you can see it's thickened up it's ready to go you can set it to the side so we can take our chicken out because it has been 35 minutes and our chicken is rats to go and as you can see our chicken is rats to eat because they look absolutely delicious they're brown they're ready and we're ready for presentation time because we all know presentation is key so y'all know i got my white rectangular plate i got from walmart and then we're just gonna place all three chicken breasts on my plate and you can actually serve them just like this add some parsley to it if you don't want the sauce and that's it they're gonna be nice and juicy tender it's gonna be absolutely delicious but if you want to upgrade your chicken throw that sauce on there that creamy mushroom sauce and it's going to take your dish from a level 10 to a level a thousand add add as much sauce as you want to ma'am add as much sauce as you want to throw some parsley on there and there you got it ma'am ma'am there you have it y'all know i recorded this so y'all can see what it's looking like on the inside Oh, there it is. Yup, there it is. That's the piece right there. Wait a That's the piece right there. Y'all see this? Mmm. Now you don't. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right, y'all. I'm done. See, the chicken and the sauce is to die for. It would be a great meal prep. And speaking of meal prep, if you want to keep your food fresh, try this Pomodoro vacuum food container, guys. This is like, for real, no joke, something that is just like 
beyond 2020. Now, what does it come with? Great question. Thanks for asking. It comes with five containers, guys, five different sizes. It's the 17 ounce, it's 27 ounce, a 47 ounce, a 60 ounce, and a 67 ounce, guys. It also comes with a one touch automatic pump. Y'all, I use this thing, kept my food fresh. I'm like really, really fresh because it's taking all the air out of it. It's um stackable, so it saves space in your refrigerator. It's freezer safe. Um, and it's a quick seal. When you hit the button, I'm going to show you. I'm putting the chicken in there that I made tonight. And I'm just going to hit that button once I put it on top. And it takes about 30 seconds. It's going to blink. And once it stops blinking, that's how you know all the air is out. And your stuff is nice, secure. It's going to not leak because it has a silicone gasket and a valve that prevents any leakage. Um, it's just, I'm not lying, my favorite containers to use, guys. And then to release the air, as you can see, all you got to do is pull up on that little um, knob and all you'll hear all the air and actually see the air going back into it and you know what i like the fact that they see through the fact that you can see what you actually put in the container without having to open them and they're bpa free guys you really can't get no better container than this you want your food to stay fresh then you need to hop on this new wave with taking all your air out of containers go ahead get you a pomodoro vacuum food container guys i'm gonna leave the link in the description also try this um stuffed chicken recipe with creamy mushroom sauce and I, I hope you guys enjoy it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you guys are washing your hands. And I will see you guys in my next video.